Hey guys, how are you? So, a question was put to me. Hey, Uncle Steph, I have a question. What advice would you give a backend developer that spent his entire career in a giant backend code bases with regards to freelancing on the side? Any roadmap of things to study before trying to fish for clients? For sure. So, number one, you're going to find that in the freelance space, it's usually web related technologies um, and it's going to be a lot of PHP some JavaScript, uh, lots of uh, e-commerce implementations, lots of, lots of content management systems, WordPress, and then using systems like Shopify, maybe Wix implementations, uh, and a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't necessarily consider development, but you know, for the average suit, for the average business person, uh, installing a WordPress, a WordPress theme is black, black magic voodoo, voodoo, Whereas for the average developer, that's beneath them, right? You can make money with all this, but it's a different type of work. Now, as you become more established, you could start filtering out and doing custom development jobs with some sort of web framework, eh, maybe an occasional mobile app. But again, for freelance, not contract work, but freelancing, it's all about the web and PHP is very dominant there. So the other thing you have to recognize, the big difference between a freelance work and working uh, on giant backend code bases is that in the freelance space, it's much more dynamic. You're gonna wear, have to wear many hats. The jobs are much smaller. So the development process has to be much more agile, much more nimble, lots of back and forth with clients. You have to learn to herd clients and manage them. Whereas when you're working on giant backend systems, well, you know the game. It's much more bureaucratic and so forth. So you have to adjust uh, your perspective in terms of how you, will, uh, how you operate. Next question. I don't want to be a workaholic. Is it possible to have a work life that is 30 to 40 hours a week max in web development, including the study and keep up constantly? So myth number one, that there's tons of study to keep up with web development. There isn't. It used to be in the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, but since 2012, 13, 14, things have really stabilized. So there's no constant study. It's very easy, by the way, when you have to learn something new. So that's number one. So that constant study thing is a thing of the past. It's a relic of the past. And number two, 30, 40 hour work week. Yeah, 100%. Uh, that's very doable, whether you're working for somebody or more importantly, if you establish a good freelance business, then you can structure that where you work 20 hours a week and make all the money you need to make if you know what you're doing. So yeah, you got the answer here. Yes, no constant study is required, although there's always learning, but you learn on the job, get paid to do it. 30, 40 hours a week for sure. You just want to avoid startups. <laughs> you're not going to be working 30, 40 hours a week at a startup, that's for sure. Freelance is an option. Although you can do that at work as well, at jobs as well. So in the work environment where you're working for somebody, um, if you want to make the big money, 30 to 40 hours probably won't do it for you. You can make good money 30 to 40 hours, but you want to get the people who make the big money, they're working longer hours than that. So how do you make the big money with 30 to 40 hours? Establish a good contracting business or a good freelance business or ultimately an own SaaS, your own SaaS, but that's going to be years probably are working very hard to get the SaaS established so then you can sit back and relax and uh, benefit from all of the uh, that investment of time and uh, effort into the business. So my suggestion, look to freelance. That's the low-hanging fruit. Within a year, year and a half or so, you can start making the full-time salary working 30 hours a week as a freelancer if you know what you're doing. I hope that helps. I'm Uncle Steph. And this was what? This was number seven. Did I mention that? This is number seven. I gotta stop.